you. It's me. It's Secret Agent Trish. Shh. Actually, we don't have to be quiet because I'm upstairs and I'm not really in a disguise. I'm actually just, you know, preparing future disguises. And um, I'm brushing up my skills for a future case. Um, but I wanted to let you know that on Sunday, there is a great lesson in the gospel. It is one about being first and being last. So I'm going to tell you, when I think about being first, there are lots of times I love to be first. Like when I'm really hungry and I used to be in school like you and, and we were about to go to lunch. I love to be in the front of the line because I got my lunch first, right? Um, and sometimes when I go out for ice cream, I love to be first in line for the hat, right? Because I get my cone sooner, especially if I'm really hot and I'm really hungry. Right? Those are times that you want to be first. But there have been a few times where it hasn't been so bad to be last. Like, I remember having a speech that I really wasn't prepared for. Speaking last gave me some time, some extra time to prepare. Um, yeah, and you know, when I would, you know, do the popcorn reading at school, I was hoped that I'd be picked last because then the pressure was off. Some of those harder words would be read already and I wouldn't have to feel so nervous about it. Mm -hmm. Well, in the gospel, we're going to hear the first shall be last and the last shall be first. And we're going to find out what that actually means. And it'll be a good lesson for all of us. In the meantime, there are some things coming up at church and I want to tell you about them. On October 13th, there is a pet blessing at 6.30 at night. So bring your pets, any any pet you want to bring, um, bring them for a blessing. And um, so make sure to, to look for information on that if you need more. Also, um, on October 29th, we're going to have Trunk or Treat. And if you are interested in decorating your trunk um, of your car or vehicle um, and doing that, please sign up. Also, if you're unable to make it but you want to help out, we are looking for candy donations. And um, we would just, we are going to need those for all the trunk or treaters that come. So um, stay tuned for more information on trunk or treat. Those signups are at church, but they will be online as well soon. So. Uh, in the meantime, take care, everybody. Remember that God loves you. We love you at Living Waters, and I'll see you next week. Take care.